All right. That was looking pretty good there, Doug. Boy, look at these two. I can't wait to see what these look like as well. Gosh, there's so many of them. Oh, well, hi, everybody. How are you? I hope you're having a good week. I want to welcome you to this During the Week video. Um, just thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I'm here at our home downstairs in our garage. I guess you, we call it a garage, but I don't think we've ever put a car or a van in here. It's really more of a storage area, maybe a play area for our grandchildren, place to kind of do little projects. Um, but please don't tell Kathy I'm doing this video from here because it's kind of messy down here. And I'll admit, much of it is my mess. Uh, so please don't tell her. I had no idea what she would do to me if she found out. Uh, but I do want to share with you some. I, I want to share with you what I've got here in just a little bit. But first, I want to share with you some of the things that are going on in our church family. I want to thank everybody who came to the drive up uh, for King Outreach Ministry this past week. Our drive up offering. It was great seeing those of you who came. We put, had a table full of food, which was wonderful. It's going to go to some of the needy families in our area. What a great offering we received, over $1,300. And also thank you to those who brought your church offering. Just want to let you know that this coming weekend, we are going to be having another weekend worship video since we're not meeting on Sunday mornings. I hope you'll take the time to watch it. It's just a wonderful way to worship during this Advent season, uh, whether you watch it by yourself or get your family together. Uh, it's also a great way just to stay connected with our church. So I certainly hope that you'll uh, let that be a part of your weekend. This coming Tuesday will be our last uh, study session on uh, Moravian history and theology with the Reverend Dr. Riddick Weber. Those of you who have been taking part in this, we've really learned a lot of good things, and Riddick's such a wonderful teacher. Uh, so I hope it certainly encourage you to attend the fourth one. Uh, it is by Zoom. I will be sharing the link for that, and if you do miss it, uh, we do have the recordings of it on our YouTube channel. So certainly join us this at 7 o'clock this coming Tuesday. There is going to be a blood drive at the church this Saturday. Uh, this is not one that we have sponsored, but uh, this one is one that is being done for Pearl Tucker. And they were going to have it at a local school, but because of COVID, they needed a place to have it. So it is at our church. It is from 9 o'clock to 2.30. If you'd like to donate, please go to the Red Cross website to sign up. Our preschool has a fundraiser selling Dewey's products. I uh, certainly hope you consider supporting our preschool in that way. All the products are $10. You can see what they are on our King Moravian Facebook page, also in the preschool, King Moravian Preschool Facebook page. It uh, kind of gives you the, the variety that you can order. Also, all orders and money needs to be turned in by next Tuesday. I think that's December the 15th. And then the orders can be picked up on Friday, December the 18th want to share with you some of the things that are going for, on for us for Christmas. Uh, we are having a children's uh, Christmas service. That's going to be on Sunday afternoon, December the 20th. It's going to be a drive-in service where we'll have buns and hot chocolate and candles. It's for the children of our church. It's for the children of our community. It's really for everybody. So please come if you can. We are going to be having our Christmas Eve service on Christmas Eve, December the 24th. It's a Thursday at 430. That's going to be a drive-in service also uh, where you'll just drive in. When you get there, you'll pick up your buns and coffee and candles. Uh, there will be music that's going to be played 4 o'clock earlier th than that. Now, if you happen to uh, not be planning to attend but would like to watch it because we are going to be showing it as it happens, it will be recorded uh, also that you can watch it later, uh, you can come to the church Christmas Eve between 2 and 3 o'clock to pick up Love Feast Buns and packets of coffee where you can make the coffee yourself as well as the candles. We are interested in finding out how many people can come or are planning to come, whether to just to pick up items or to attend either of the services or both of them. We do have a survey, so please note the information in my emails, our King Connections, our Facebook page, where you can just kind of let us know so we know how many to plan for. Also, just want to let you know that we are going to be decorating some more, but there's some beautiful decorations outside the church now. But we are going to be putting some poinsettias inside the sanctuary. We're going to have luminaries out on Christmas Eve. In a normal year, we would be asking people if they'd like to donate a poinsettia in memory of or in honor of a loved one. We're going to do some of that with the luminaries and the poinsettias. If you'd like to make a donation to help cover the cost of the poinsettias and luminaries, please contact the church office. Uh, any donation would be great. 
um, and just let us know who it is given in memory of or in honor of, and we will acknowledge all the gifts in some of our upcoming Christmas communications. So just want you to be aware of all of that. In regard to our prayer concerns, please continue to keep Paula Hall in your prayers. Uh, I know a lot of people have been certainly concerned about Paula. Yesterday she had some scans just to see if uh, any cancer, if she has ocular uh, melanoma, if any cancer is, is anywhere else. The scans came back clear, which is wonderful news, and we're very thankful for that. But certainly continue to keep Paula and her family in your prayers. Paula's going to be having some surgery on Monday. We'll be in the hospital for a good part of the week before coming home. And, and then these are kind of scans that she's going to be having to do from, for, for a while now. So certainly continue to keep Paula in your prayers. Amy Heath is going to be having some surgery next week, so certainly pray for her. Rachel is getting together a meal train for Amy and the family, especially in her time of recovery. So if you'd like to help out with that, that information will be on my email and also our other communications. Continue to pray for Jennifer Dunn. She continues her recovery from recent radiation treatments and just has other visits coming up and procedures. So certainly keep her in your prayers. We are very thankful to see her back playing the organ and the piano. Uh, Sarah Stevens asked that we pray for her son. His name is uh, Daniel Wade. He has cancer this week. He's began chemotherapy and radiation treatments. Amy Reeves uh, earlier in the week asked that we pray for her grandmother. Her name is Ruth Leonard. Uh, she had been fading, um, and but she was ready to be with the Lord. And, and earlier today, uh, she went on to be with the Lord in, in her passing. So certainly keep Amy and her family in your prayers. Uh, as Amy says, the, she is going to be a grandmother that she is really going to miss. Jim Hall asked that we, and shared that we remember um, his neighbor's family. Uh, he's, Ken Tedder's been on our prayer list, but he passed away this past week. So certainly remember his family and friends. We continue to pray for the schools, our administrators, teachers, and students with all that they are going through. We continue to pray for our health care workers. Uh, certainly pray for God's protective hand upon all of them. Uh, and certainly bless them in what they do. Uh, pray for our nation as we get closer to getting the vaccine, and hopefully the day will come, and it won't be too much longer, uh, that we kind of get back to doing the things that, that we like to do and that we enjoy to do. As I mentioned earlier, I'm here in our garage, and the reason I'm here is I'm working on something for this weekend. These are candle holders. I want to thank Dwayne and Parker Pratt for making these. I'm kind of down here just putting a little stain on them to um, make them look a, look a little bit good. To, well, maybe a little better, uh, a little something you might want to kind of have in your home. But you know, what really makes this candle holder really look good is when you put a candle in it. And some of you may know what this candle is. This is one of our Moravian candles. It's a very special part of our Christmas tradition as we remember the candle being a symbol of Jesus. And part of that symbol is how God loved you and me so much that he sent his son Jesus to be a light to the world and a light to our lives. And I hope that you will let, this, if you happen to see a candle like this in the next few days or maybe in the next couple of weeks, let that be a reminder to you of God's great love and Jesus being that light of the world. I hope you'll also let it be a reminder of how God wants you and me to be his lights in the world. And we have that light when we have Jesus in our lives and we show it in the way that we live. I certainly hope that you have a great rest of the week. I hope that you'll watch our worship video this weekend. And I hope and pray that your light and my light that shines within us will shine brightly as we shine our lives for God. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you all.